What's up guys? All right, hopefully gonna be a quick tutorial on removing backgrounds in Photoshop using layer masking. Um, so this works best on images, like a portrait image that has high contrast between subject and background. So if we look at this image of Kanye, like clearly defined background, easy to select. Uh, but I'll also show how to do it on a little bit more complicated backgrounds where the subject is not clearly defined. So in Photoshop, uh, Creative Cloud 2018, 2019, whichever. Um, first off, let's go ahead and unlock our background layer or duplicate it and hide the background. Um, and then quickly we're going to grab our quick selection tool over here. Um, for an image where the background is really, really simple, like it's just like one solid color or it's whatever, I am going to go ahead and select the background just by quickly dragging. And because this image is so prime for this, uh, the background selected right then and there. Now, I have the background selected, but I want to have my subject selected before I make a layer mask. So let's go ahead and invert that selection. Select, inverse, Command Shift I. I'm going to go ahead and click on the layer mask button down here, and boom, the background is gone. If I grab my move tool, uh, now I can drag and drop this into another project or like an Illustrator file. So I'm like now crossing over software and bam, I've got a transparent Kanye in my Illustrator document. So let's try this image of Tony Stark um, sitting on the donut. Once again, unlock your layer, grab our quick selection tool. Now, because the background is a little bit more complicated, it might be easier in this case to try and select Tony. So I'm going to zoom in and I like to use a space bar uh, to switch the hand tool and move around and I'm going to try to select as much as I can in one go. Now up here, if I zoom in really quickly, oh, that's not working. Up here, on um, the top left, I have three little buttons. First one makes a new selection anytime I click. The second one adds to my current selection. The third one removes from my current selection. So if I accidentally select too much, I can deselect and kind of go backwards. So let's keep adding to the selection. Let's make sure we get all of his hair, his cheek over here. Uh, let's go through and just kind of click and drag. Oh, I got a little bit there that I need to clean up. I'll probably have a lot more of that to go. So I'm going around and I'm selecting, I'm selecting. Oh, we're getting a lot, we're getting a lot that we don't need. Whatever, let's just quickly crap stuff. I'm like rushing. I wanted this to be a short video, but we'll see. Up, oh, I'm getting some of the donut in there, getting some of his fingers. Man, this is not easy. What the heck? Good thing we are going to learn how to deal with these setbacks. Let's get the mask in there. Let's get his other foot. And generally, yeah, command zero, zoom back out. So now I know that I've got some stuff in here that I don't need, like inside um, the suit right here, like these little pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back in, command plus, make my brush smaller. I use the brackets on the keyboard, so left bracket to make it smaller. And now I can switch to the minus, or if I hold alt or option on the keyboard, the option key it switches to minus. I'm going to go ahead and now subtract from that selection there. So if I go ahead and make the brush a little bit even smaller, hold the option key and keep subtracting from that selection. Now, all I got to do is make a layer mask once again. And I've got Tony Stark. It looks like I missed him there. If we just grab the brush tool, paint in white with a simple brush too much I can patch that up paint white and there it is now all that really needs to be done is to I mean, clean up a little bit more I could go in with a sharper brush tool or smaller brush tool and do a little bit of patchwork again on this layer mask anything you paint in with white is going to be uh, revealed. Anything you paint in with black is going to be hidden. So I recommend pressing X to switch between the two instead of having to like manually drag it each time. So I can go ahead and brush out, do some trimming, detail work, um, etc. So once that's all done, again, Tony Stark able to be dragged into any other document and used accordingly. Thanks for watching.